Good morning, guys. It's Carlina here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today, I wanted to share with you guys how I style my shag haircut. This is relatively new to me. I've had this haircut for about two weeks now, so I'm still getting the hang of it. I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks of how you can style your shag. Um, if you're interested, please keep watching. Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. As you can see, we're starting with soaking wet hair, fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna make this really quick. I'm actually getting ready for work right now. We've got giant coffee in hand, <laughs> and we're gonna get started with the tutorial here. So this is how my hair looks, fresh out of the shower. I'm just gonna start with detangling my hair with a wet brush. In terms of styling product, I don't actually like the feeling of too much stuff in my hair. So I try to keep um, the amount very minimal. Um, I'm starting with a little bit of mousse. This one's by Fructus. Any mousse I find will do the trick. I usually just buy Fructus because it's affordable and I like the smell. I'm gonna use about that much product there. I'm gonna rub it between my hands. And I'm gonna focus it just kind of like in the crown area of my head. This is sort of where I like a little bit more um, of that like gritty texture. I find it just helps, um, helps to like hold the shape of the hairstyle a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm just kind of working it now just through the top and like the front sections of my hair. And that's about it. As you can see, um, my hair is pretty straight. There's a tiny little bit of wave to it. I could probably at this point, honestly, if I had the patience, let it just air dry and it would air dry really nice and, and natural looking. However, um, usually when I'm leaving the house, I don't um, have a lot of time to let my hair air dry and I live in Vancouver, so it's still pretty cold out here. So I'm gonna show you how we style it and mimic this sort of undone but done hairstyle. And now we blow dry. So now that my hair has just been roughly blow dried, I like to separate uh, the sections a little bit. So I'm just gonna separate like the bang area and the top section out of the way. I find it just makes it a little bit easier for me to, um, to style in the end. This is generally kind of like where my hair has like the shorter pieces. I just section it out with like a scrunchie because it's more gentle on the hair. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, the next step that I like to do um, is um, to achieve that kind of effortless curl, I like to actually leave the ends of the hair um, more on the straight side because as you can see, my hair is kind of fuzzy. It's not truly like poker straight. It's kind of fuzzy on the ends. I like to actually um, just straighten the ends of my hair here with a straightener. As you'll see in the end result here, once the ends are left straighter, it gives a little bit more of that beachy, sort of natural looking um, texture to the hair. And if you're lucky enough that your hair is healthy and kind of smooth on the ends, you could probably skip this step. Now we're gonna go in with a one inch curling iron and we're just gonna curl my hair as usual. Once again, leaving the ends out. My hair is quite fine, um, but I have a lot of it. Um, the nice thing is because we're not doing like traditional, um, you know, like curls here, um, you can kind of take bigger sections. I'm sort of aiming for just kind of like a little bit more movement and texture within my hair. So it's a great time saver. Um, I'm just sort of sectioning the, the next little bit of hair out of the way. I'll part my hair in the center here for this lower section. I'm just gonna go in with the curling iron here and 
I'm gonna curl away from my face. And you'll notice that I'm not going like all the way around, like putting all the hair in. I basically sort of pick up the hair, rotate it twice, and then let go. So you can see like it kind of results in just like a tiny little bit of a bend in the hair with the end still straight. I'll try to show you here on the other side a little bit better. So I'm gonna take that big section, hold the curling iron vertically, I'm gonna twist it once, twice, and kind of hold it there. And then you'll just pull it straight through. So as you can see, you've just got that nice kind of little bend happening with a nice straight end. I'm gonna continue that with the next section of hair. Now for whatever reason, I always sort of leave these two front pieces for last. So I'm just gonna curl these two front pieces just as I have curled the rest of my hair. Now with the top section of my hair, I'm gonna curl it in the exact same way as the rest vertically away from the face and leaving the ends out. In this case, I tend to do slightly smaller sections in this top, uh, top section. And at this point, I think I'm gonna sort of section my bangs out so I can keep those a little bit separate because I'm gonna style those with a slightly larger curling iron in the end. Now that most of my hair is curled, I'm gonna let that kind of cool down before I sort of finger through and I'm gonna style the bang section. So to curl the bang area, I'm going in with a larger curling iron. This one's by Revlon. It's a two inch barrel. Um, you could also use a round brush for this, but I find the curling iron a little bit faster. To curl my bangs, I like to separate them into three pieces. The shorter section in the center I will curl first, and then the two longer sections on the side I will curl afterwards. I'm gonna curl it in the direction that I want it to go, which in this case is this way. Kind of like your traditional round brushed bangs sort of look. Starting once again with the center section. Just gonna hold that for a few minutes seconds <laughs> don't hold it for a few minutes and you can see this is surprisingly what I'm going for <laughs> I know it looks crazy just stay with me I'm gonna do the same thing on the two longer pieces in the outer corner This is like the first time I've had bangs in about maybe five years or more, so I'm still kind of getting the hang of styling them, um, but I find this method works well for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let that cool down and then I'll show you how to do the final touches. Now that the curls have had a chance to cool down, I'm just gonna go in with my hairbrush and I'm just gonna kind of brush through to separate the curls and as you can see make them calm down quite a bit. This particular um, hairstyle I find really looks good on the second day I find. Even on the first day it's a little bit too 
curly for me, but as you can see, once I brush everything out, it's starting to take shape here. Perfect. So you can see kind of those, the bangs are parting the way that they should. We've got the kind of shorter pieces near the front. And so far, so good. As you can see, because my hair is super clean, um, it doesn't have that kind of gritty texture yet that you usually get on like day two, day three hair. So just to mimic that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of dry shampoo. This one is by OGX. I'm just gonna give it a shake and I'm gonna spray it kind of once again in the top section of my hair, as well as kind of through the lengths and the shorter layers. And as I said, this kind of just helps to give that you know, lived in kind of messy texture to the hair without making it crunchy. Myself personally, I only tend to wash my hair, you know, maybe twice a week or so. So adding the dry shampoo as a styling product, I find it not only gives me the like the desired effect of how I want my hairstyle to look in the end, but also um, it allows me to kind of sneak maybe an extra day out of the hairstyle. So I know this is a lot of heat um, in terms of heat styling, but if you only do this maybe twice a week, I'm still kind of ahead of the game here. So as you can see, it's just giving it that really pretty, um, you know, lived in texture, a little bit beachy, and it's starting to bring out all those cute little short layers here. And there you have it, guys. Here is the finished look. I am running late for work as usual, so I've got to go. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are watching from, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.